Let's learn how to add multiple strokes in Photoshop in this quick and simple tutorial. So I'm going to show you two techniques today. Both of these are applicable for type and objects in Photoshop. The first is if you have a newer version of Photoshop, I believe 2020 onwards. So here I have a type layer. So either type out your text or create your object. Go to the layers panel, right click and go to blend in options. So the first thing we'll do is add a stroke. So let's turn on the stroke, click the stroke option and then we can play around here with the options. So I'm gonna set a 10 pixel stroke and let's change the color to this pink, press okay. So from there now, I can add a second stroke by simply clicking the little plus sign here. So click here, I've now added a second stroke. So what I can do now is go up in increments of 10. So this stroke I'll set to 20 and I'll change the color. So let's try a yellow, press okay. And there you go. And I can do this as many times as I want. So let's add one more. There's my third stroke, set this to 30, and again, let's change the color. Let's go with an orange this time. Press OK, press OK, and there you go. There's my text layer with multiple strokes. Now, if you're working in an older version of Photoshop, you won't see these little plus signs here on the stroke. So if that's the case, that's not a problem. There is another way you can do this. So first, create the object or type that you want to add the strokes to. So either use your shape tool, embed or add an image, or type out your text. So I'm going to just type out old school here. Next thing you want to do then is select that layer, right click and convert to smart object. Now we're going to add a stroke to this layer, right click, Blend in options, add a stroke, and again, we'll work in increments of 10, so set to 10. We'll leave the color as it is, that's fine, press OK. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is duplicate the layer, right click, duplicate layer, also copy, that's fine, press OK, and then I'm going to click and drag this layer underneath the first layer. You can see now the second layer has already had a stroke applied to it, so I'm gonna double click the stroke, and now I'm gonna apply the same incremental increase, so let's change this to 20, and let's change this color to something different. Let's go with a bit of a green, Press OK, press OK. And now I can continue using this technique. So I'm gonna right click, duplicate layer, press OK, click and drag this down to create a third layer. Let's double click the stroke, bring up my layer style options again, work in another 10 increments. So let's go for 30 this time, and we'll change the color to a blue. Press OK. And the great thing is about this, because you set the text as a smart object, at any time you can go in, double click the smart object, and then you can change the text accordingly. So I'm gonna click here, type very old school. Once I've typed out my text, then I can use the crop tool, make sure I clear the aspect ratio, click and drag out and expand the smart object. Until I'm happy it covers all the text, press enter. And now all I have to do is command and control S to save the smart object save and then if I come back into my main document you can see now all three of these have changed the text and that's the beauty of using the smart object so I'm just going to make this a little smaller highlight all these three hold out and drag these down and press enter so there you go if you have the new versions of Photoshop you can use the new add stroke option to add multiple strokes to an object or typography but if you're working with an older version of Photoshop you can use this workaround which uses smart objects and multiple layers to also add multiple strokes and the nice thing is you can go back in at any time and change any of these strokes accordingly so I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial